So now we are going to the next session that is the sciatic nerve. Okay, the sciatic nerve, we are going to see the sciatic nerve under the heading introduction. Introduction to the sciatic nerve, okay, course and termination, relation, relations means superficial and deep relations and branches and finally will be the applied aspect. Okay, now introduction. The introduction, the sciatic nerve is the thickest nerve in our body. Okay, so thickest nerve. Okay, longest nerve is saphenous nerve and the thickest nerve is the sciatic nerve. Longest cutaneous nerve is the saphenous nerve. Okay, and the thickest nerve in our body is the uh, sciatic nerve and, it, uh, and the thickness varies from 1.5 to 2 centimeters. Okay, so it is a that much thick nerve and it is mainly formed by the two parts. Okay, it has two components in the formation. It is the it is derived from sacral plexus. Okay, and it has two components. What are the two components means? It has the common tibial component and the common peroneal component. Okay, the tibial component. So it has two components. Okay, tibial component. The tibial component, the root value is L4, L5, S1. S2, S3. Okay. And the common peroneal component, common peroneal component of the component is formed by the L4, L5, S1, S2. So, this is by the ventral division of the L4, L5, S1, S2, S3 and it is by the dorsal division of the L4, L5, S1 and S2. So, this two components join together to form the sciatic nerve. Okay. So, the sciatic nerve where it is formed means it is formed in front in the pelvis in front of the piriformis muscle. Okay. So, actually piriformis muscle we know that it is a for it is origin from the middle three pieces of sacrum right S2, S3, S4. So, this uh, sciatic nerve it is derived from the sacral plexus having this root value and two components is formed in front of the piriformis and it comes out of the piriformis by the comes out of the uh, pelvis by the passing through the greater sciatic foramen and mainly from the inferior border of the piriformis but this is always variable keep in mind it is not always from the inferior border of the piriformis sometimes between the muscles of piriformis sometimes superior border of piriformis anywhere okay but commonly most often we will get from the inferior border of the piriformis so formation so okay so it is it has two components with its with this root value formed from the sacral plexus and it is seen in front of the piriformis comes out to the gluteal region via the greater sciatic foramen okay greater sciatic foramen at at the lower border of the Pyriformis. Okay, so once it comes out of the pyriformis, it runs over the dorsal aspect of the okay ischial bone, body of the ischium, and the dorsal aspect of the body of the ischium with the lateral convexity. Okay, with the lateral convexity, it runs. Okay, like it runs and it runs in the gluteal region, comes out of the gluteal region at the lower border of the gluteus maximus. We know that this is the outer border, right? So, it comes out at the lower border of the gluteal uh, maximus into the posterior aspect of the thigh and it reaches up to the superior border of the superior angle of the popliteal fossa. So, we will have the popliteal fossa, right? So, it reaches the superior angle of the popliteal fossa where it divides into its two component. So, the so the medial component that is this is the tibial component. This is called has tibial nerve. Okay, this is called has the tibial nerve and the lateral component is called has the common peroneal nerve. Okay, common peroneal nerve. Okay, so at the superior angle of the popliteal fossa or otherwise between the middle third and the lower third of the posterior aspect of the thigh, it divides into its two components that is the tibial component and the common peroneal component. So, this is about the course and termination. So, thickest nerve has the two components with this root value, how it comes out 
where it formed and how it comes out to the gluteal region after coming out it travels over the posterior aspect of the ischium over all these muscles okay over all these muscles then it is comes and exits out of the gluteal region at the lower border of the gluteus maximus and divides into its two component at the superior angle of the popliteal fossa so course and termination is also over now relation easy to tell the relation what is the superficial relation the superficial relation will be the gluteus maximus and here one more muscle that is the biceps femoris that is formed will also cross long head of biceps femoris will be crossing it superficially okay so the two muscles that is crossing superficially the sciatic nerve is too much okay so uh, relations we are can are superficial deeper so the muscles that cause the gluteus maximus superficial uh, sciatic nerve superficially are gluteus maximus gluteus maximus and the long head of biceps femoris long head of biceps femoris right and the deep relation you know you can tell from here body of ischium uh, uh, superior jamelli okay and the uh, operator internus inferior jamelli quadratus femoris okay then here adductor magnus all this muscle will be the deep relation okay all this body of ischium with all this muscle will be the deep relations right now branches so it supplies the muscles the sciatic nerve supplies the muscles muscles of the posterior aspect of the thigh mainly from its medial aspect so it gives branches from its medial aspect only from the lateral aspect it gives to the long head of tri so it gives only to the long head of biceps femoris okay all other muscles like uh, adductor magnus uh, okay semi membranous semi tendinous all will be given given from the medial side and also it gives the musc uh, uh, articular branch to the hip joint also okay it gives the articular branch to the hip joint and the muscular branches mostly from the medial side and only one muscular branch from the lateral side is the long head of biceps femoris okay so the which side is safer means we know that lateral side of the sciatic nerve is safer okay and what is its applied aspects the applied aspect is nothing but if we sit on a corner of the chair okay for long time the part of the sciatic nerve between the lower border of the gluteus maximus and the biceps femoris no this part will be compressed in the corner wooden corner okay wooden chair or a steel chair whatever and it reaches to the paresthesia of the foot below that okay paresthesia of the leg and the foot that is called as sleeping foot okay that is the important applied as a paresthesia uh, is due to the compression of the sciatic nerve for longer time okay that is called as the sleeping foot okay this is about the sciatic nerve